There we go, this is what we have to play with today. That is what I'm going to use for the fill. Loose the outline and then don't know what I'm going to do with these. A bit of border maybe or something to that effect. Or, I don't know, we'll see with those three can. In this video I'm going to take you through my personal pros and cons of loop spray paint. I've been using it on and off now for three years or thereabouts. Um, so yeah, at random places throughout this video I will drop some of the pros and cons that I've experienced in my time using loop spray paint. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot about this. Um, I should have recorded it, but I didn't, being a dummy that I am. But um, basically, I had a 600 mil can of paint. Um, it blocked um, like the valve, couldn't get going. Tried fat caps, tried sticking a nail just into the valve, so there's no cap whatsoever, no restriction, and nothing came out of it. Um, I bought this can very recently from a shop up in Scotland. I don't know how long it had been sitting in the shop in Scotland, but it clearly didn't work. I gave the can a good shake. So yeah, I had to resort to bursting the can with the screwdriver. So I will start with the pros of using loop spray paint in my personal experience. Number one is coverage, it's really good and consistent. Number two, you don't have to shake the can too much, which is really handy, especially in cold weather. It just, it just seems to be good consistency, thick paint, and you don't have to shake the can much, so that is a definite pro. The cost is another pro because for the quality of the paint, I think it's pretty good. It's, you know, cheaper than premium, um, but also better than the average spray can of that price. Um, and the colour range. Um, I really like the colour range. It's quite vast, and I really like the fact that the colours are named after places throughout the world, like different cities and areas. So yeah, that's quite cool. So the cons that I've experienced whilst using loop spray paint is fading. That's number one on the list. Um, I just don't seem to think it's as good for fading as certain other brands that I use. Um, also another con is the paint becomes very thick after a long time of being in storage. I don't know why, um, but it just seems to get really gloopy and block loads of caps, so that's not so cool. Also the valve. Um, the valve is quite hard. It either seems to be like an on or an off. It's like a switch almost. There's no kind of variation there's no kind of uh, you know like mid press but ever since I've been using the night quill I've actually found it really handy um, with the night quill because you get more more kind of range on the valve so it is actually easier to control um, another thing that I don't like about loop spray paint the, the can seem to rust very quickly compared to other brands um, I don't know why not sure but I don't know it's just the way it is with them also my final con for loop spray paint, in my experience, is that you can't fit uh, a cream cap from the MTM range or like a, um, a beige skinny cap, as they're also known. Um, so yeah, that is my final con for using loop spray paint.
there you go that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it a little bit different to my normal videos but i want to start doing more kind of product reviews uh, from my own personal experiences um, so yeah if you haven't subscribed already then please subscribe like this video drop me a comment tell me what i should review next or what you want me to review um, and also tell me your own personal experiences with loop spray paint what do you think about loop spray paint anyway thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video cheers